Look at us all cruising along here through Jasper Active Excel Lesson 5. Uh, for this video, we're going to start changing the workbook views, see how long it goes. We may need to include page breaks in this video too. We'll see how fast I can be. All right, let me resize the window so we can see what we're doing. It says we're going to start by clicking File and Print. So we can get a preview of what it's going to look like to go through this document. And notice that looks terrible. We've got just random pages of numbers that are going to print out. So um, click the Zoom to Page button down here so we can zoom in on it. So that button was right here if you didn't see. And notice when we scroll through, uh, if this page prints out, that's not going to be helpful to people. So click the next and previous buttons down here so we can see. Move that out of the way. So next. Yeah, pages and pages of stuff that doesn't help us out much. So now we're going to work in page layout view. Click the back button. We know we don't want to do it that way. And currently we are in normal view. Let's move to page layout view. So page layout view was right down here in the next to the zoom slider in the status bar, or you can go up to here and change to page layout view. Now use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars to look through and notice, yep, we got just page after page of numbers. Next, now we're gonna change to page break preview. So, down here next to the zoom slider is page break preview and notice all the page breaks top and bottom are showing up we've got 12 pages of numbers next now go back to the normal view so we can do that in the view tab normal view is up here click normal and we're back to normal view um, if necessary Click the vertical horizontal toggle buttons to return to the instruction pane. To oh, I think we're good. All right, so moving on, submit it and get it. That was pretty straightforward. Let's return to Jasper Active and see if we can add another exercise to this video, setting the page breaks. Here we go. So this is going to allow us to fix the problem we just identified earlier. Let me enlargeificate so we can see it. Select cell D23. D23. Verify. Yep, that is D23. And then on the page layout tab in the page setup group, we're going to click breaks. So page setup group breaks is right here. We're going to insert a page break and watch what happens see how we get a darker line right here if it wasn't there a second ago you can always take the break out and reinsert it to see that now we're going to click print preview so go to file and then print and notice we have 20 pages now use the next and previous buttons to look through and see how terrible it is at this moment. Once we're done, uh, once we're done with that, we are going to click the next button. And up here, we will click the back button to get to our normal view. D23 selected on the page layout tab in the page setup group, click breaks. And we are going to remove page break. And notice now it is no longer highlighted. Step number four says change to page break preview on the view tab. We're going to go to page break preview. In this view, we can see where everything is. Um, all of page breaks are dotted, which indicates none of them were set manually. Okay, the hard solid one is something that we can modify. So let's position the mouse pointer over the page break between pages one and five. So let me get back up here. 
pages one and five. So notice, watch my mouse right there. Okay, so it goes from the big plus insertion to the double move. So click on the mouse button and drag the page break to the left by one column. And notice now it's a solid page break. So you set a manual page break to the left side of column E. Now drag the page break at the left side of column J. So this one right here. And you are going to drag that to the left side of column K. Now drag the page break line at the left side of column J to the left by two columns. Left side one, two, like that. Ooh, this is terrible. All right. Next, drag the horizontal page break line at the top of row 48 up to row 33. Let me click on Excel and I'm at now, I'm not quite at the right spot, but let's go up to top of row 48 to the top of row 33 and put the page break right there. Notice dotted page breaks are changing to solid. Now we're going to remove a manual page break. So select any cell on the right side of the page break on page 11. And then on the page layout tab, where it says breaks, you're going to click remove page break. Next, step number eight. Man, we are, there's plenty to do here. Now on the page layout tab in the page setup group where it says breaks, you are going to reset all page breaks. And now we're back to normal. Drag the vertical page break at the line, left break line at the left side of column F to the far to the left side of column H. So this one we're going to move over to the right by two columns. And it says drag the vertical page break at the left side of column P to the outer edge. And notice now we are actually doing a good thing. We're getting to fewer pages and less paper. Now it says drag the horizontal page break, which likely falls somewhere around row 60 to the top of row 63. Here we go, top of row 63. So we're just moving that horizontal break down by one. The worksheet should look similar to the following. If you notice, we are down to six pages of paper. Okay, so uh, on the page layout tab, look at the scale setting. So page layout tab right here is the scale setting. Notice it's currently 75%. And Excel has automatically adjusted it down from 100 to 75, so it fits the page breaks that we set. Now we're going to switch back to print preview. So file, print, and do the next page, previous page. And notice we're down six pages and we have a lot more information. Next, now change to normal view. So go back. And in the View tab, select Normal. Now we're going to remove all page breaks. So do uh, pa Page Layout tab, Breaks, and then Reset all page breaks. Hopefully we can get it and submit it with 100%. There we go, Return to Jasper Active, and we're going to call this video done.